Hello everyone, I'm Naval Yemul. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Data Master. So in this video tutorial, we are going to start with what is Microsoft Fabric. So I'm going to start a playlist on Microsoft Fabric. So first we'll understand what is Microsoft Fabric and then we are going to see how Microsoft Fabric helps us all the organization to bring all their data in one place. So if you look at the definition of Microsoft Fabric or if you look at the what does Microsoft Fabric means. So it is all in one analytics solution where all your enterprise data can be brought together. You can take it from data movement to data science for data engineering, data analytics, all data people can come together and you got only one product that is called Microsoft Fabric. So let us see what the Microsoft CEO Mr. Satyanandal sir has said about the Microsoft Fabric. So we are really thrilled to be announcing Microsoft Fabric. Uh, this is a product that we've been, you know, working very, very hard on over multiple years, and it's finally coming together. It's perhaps the biggest launch of a data product from Microsoft since the launch of SQL Server. Uh, you know, it really brings together compute and storage, so it unifies compute and storage. It unifies all of the full analytic stack product experiences. It brings together governance, so it unifies governance with analytics. And most interestingly, it unifies the business model, right, across all the different type of analytics workloads, whether they're SQL, machine learning, whatever job you want, you can use the same compute um, uh, infrastructure. And this unification at the end of the day is what I think will fuel the next generation of AI applications. Let's roll the video. Introducing Microsoft Fabric, a unified data analytics platform. One product, one experience, one architecture, one business model. Unified data is stored in one lake, a SaaS data lake for the entire organization. Data is integrated and stored in an open format allowing one copy to be used to train machine learning models, visualize data, and run SQL queries on the lake and data warehouse. A unified experience brings together all the tools data professionals need, pipelines for orchestrating data movement, experiments for training machine learning models, semantic models for defining key metrics, and much more. And for business users, Fabric brings together data for collaborating and doing ad hoc analysis in Microsoft 365. Unified governance, security, and compliance is built in for all your data. And with Copilot for Microsoft Fabric, AI helps everyone be more productive. Whether it's writing SQL statements, building reports, or setting up automations based on triggers. All your data, all your teams, all in one place. This is Microsoft Fabric. Yeah, so just now we have seen what is Microsoft Fabric. So it brings us all data people together. So if you are working as a data analyst, if you're working as a data engineer, if you're working as a data science, if you are working as a business intelligence, if you are working as a machine learning, all people can work together on this only one product. That product is your Microsoft Fabric. So we will see what is fabric and what are the different components in this. So it unifies all the data people, you unifies all your data, it unifies your compute, it unifies your storage. So we'll see what is fabric now and then we'll move forward to see what are the different components in that. So Microsoft Fabric is an all-in-one analytics solution for enterprise that covers everything from your data movement to data science real-time analytics and business intelligence. So it offers a comprehensive suite of services, including your data lake, data integration, data engineering, all in one place. So let me scroll down and you can see you have a, it is called as a SaaS foundation, so it is software as a service. So you don't need to go and select your infrastructure. You don't need to go and select your storage account, go and select the region and so on. You don't need to worry anything. So they have built one lake. So what is one lake? We will talk in detail. We will dive, go deep dive into that. So what you can do, you will get only one software where you can do the data factory work, where you can do Synapse data engineering, 
data warehouse, data science, real time analytics, and on top of all that, you can use Power BI at any time. So we will do the hands on. Yes, we will do the hands on on each and every component, each and every tool on this data fabric, Microsoft fabric. So once you open a trial account of Microsoft Fabric, so we do have a trial account which comes with 60 days free trial. I'll explain you how to set up that free trial. So you can, I suggest you, you watch the videos and with that you can do the hands on with us. So data, uh, Microsoft Fabric comes with this four major uh, domains in Synapse, data engineering, Synapse data science, Synapse data warehouse and real time analytics. So what we can do with the data engineering, what we can do with the data factory, what we can do with the data science and data warehouse and real time analytics, we will do the hands on on top of that. So let me open. Let me open my Microsoft. Fabric, so you can just go to the website of app.powerbi.com. So let me open my trial account. Yeah, so once you are in the app.powerbi.com, you can see, you can click on this tab here and you can directly click on Microsoft Fabric. So all your data in, in one location, you can organize, you can collaborate and you can create. So you can explore the experiences like Power BI, Data Factory, Synapse Data Engineering, Data Science, your Data Warehouse and your Synapse Real Time Analytics. So once you can click on this Microsoft Fabric, so you can redirect to Data Factory. If I click on Data Factory and you can see a couple of things here, you can create a new data flow Gen 2. You can create a data pipelines from the Data Factory. So once I click on the Synapse Data Engineering here, you can create a lake house, a completely new lake house. So you don't, you just need to click on it and you can give a name of your lake house and you can decide on which workspace you want this lake house. That's it. You don't need to, uh, if you are coming from a Azure background and if you are thinking like on which data center, on which region and what would be my uh, like storage account and all those things you don't need to worry much. So you can just with one click, you can create your lake house. Then you if you want to write a spark application, if you want to write a spark job, so your notebooks is for you. So you can just click on the notebook, your notebook is open and you can start working on it. So you can bring a data into your lake house by using a notebook, by using a data pipeline, or you can import some notebooks and so on. Even when if you want to get your data into your lake house, so we will see each and every terminology in this. So what is lake house? We will deep dive into that. So you can bring your data in the lake house by using a data factory by building up your data flow gen 2. So this is a different component. If you are coming from a ADF that is Azure data factory there we were seeing data flow, but now this is data flow gen 2, which is an advanced part of power query. So if you are coming from a power BI background, you can easily catch up this. No worries. If you are completely new, you are completely fresher. You don't need to worry much. So I'll get to uh, like, I'll start with the very fresh, very uh, basics. So coming to the data science background. So click on the data science back uh, workload and you can see here with the, you can create a model. You can experiment your data. You can create a notebooks in the same way as we have seen in the data science and uh, data engineering. So if you click on data warehouse here, you can click on your warehouse, your create a warehouse and you can write your T SQL queries on top of your data, which is in your data uh, lake house. And you can do a real time analytics like you can create your KQL that is Custo query language database and so on. So these are so many things you can do in only one software or one product called as a Microsoft Fabric. So guys, trust me, this is going to be a future. This is really going to be a game changer for all the analytics people. So if you have been working on different products like working on Azure, then working on the data lake from there, we used to use Azure Data Factory or maybe Azure Databricks to do the transformation and then use a Synapse for the data warehousing thing. And from there, we used to mount or connect it to your Power BI. So the architecture was completely different. Now 
this Microsoft people have brought all this together in only one software and you can call it as one product as Microsoft Fabric. So this will be a really a game changer. So in our YouTube videos, I will start with the very basic like when uh, what is lake house, then how to create, how to get a data into the lake house in the data engineering workload and how to uh, what is one lake we will see that and now you can create a reports on top of that data connecting it to the power bi we will see each and every detail on microsoft fabric so the only one request from you all guys is i request you to please subscribe to my channel like the video and please uh, press the bell icon so when i release a new videos on microsoft fabric you will get a notification and you will be the first person to see the videos so thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you got a clear understanding like what is Microsoft Fabric and what are the different components in Microsoft Fabric. Thank you again. Keep learning. Thank you guys.